Norfolk and Suffolk are still being sent hundreds of miles for treatment despite promises to stop the practice. Some of the placements are as far away as Brighton and County Durham. The Mental Health Trust has admitted it's unacceptable but says it needs more funding to solve the problem. Most patients with mental health problems can't wait for support. One woman told me she called the Trust for help last month. She says she was feeling suicidal. There were no beds locally, so she was sent to Nottingham. You get sent somewhere where they don't have your records, they don't know you, so you're asked the same questions over and over again. So you're telling your story several times to different people. You can't really have the support of your family and friends because they can't travel that far. Patients are being failed because they're not spending their money in the right way. This is a growing problem. Six months ago, 34 people were given beds out of county. That fell to six in September, but has since risen to 50. The Mental Health Trust had promised to end the practice last April. The Care Minister, Norman Lamb, said out-of-area placements were a ridiculous waste of money. The Health Secretary, Jeremy Hunt, called it an unacceptable situation. This is where patients have been sent out of area in the past fortnight, with beds being offered as far as Greater Manchester and Brighton. We speak to the local MPs, we speak to the Trust, and nobody's actually willing to take responsibility. Everybody says this is a terrible thing that's happening, but nobody's actually willing to spend the money and to take the action to stop it from happening. The Trust argues it's not getting enough money. Its budget has fallen in the past three years. Compare that with how much extra the government has given hospitals in Norfolk and Suffolk, with the James Paget seeing the biggest increase. We don't want people out of area. It is unacceptable and we're working hard to bring people back. It is a challenge to do that when our community services are not sufficiently funded. It is community services that keep people at home and keep them well. And unfortunately, we don't have the resources. The Norfolk and Suffolk Foundation Trust says it now aims to turn things around by April. Nikki Fox, BBC Look East.